Hi guys and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. This video is going to be a little different in, in the sense that it's not a tutorial per se. It's more me kind of doing this fun little experiment and I wanted to share it with you guys. So this is the tub that I was going to be growing my Daphnia in. The Daphnia Pulpex to be more precise. And as you can see, ever since I started feeding um, the critters some spirulana on top of uh, yeast... I've had this kind of boom of these other small critters. Oh, Mookie's trying to get in the box <laughs> behind me. So I've had this boom of these small critters um, all over here. And let me show you a little better right here. There are these small organisms. Uh, some of them have double tails. Some of them have one tail. Some of them like look like blah. Where it's some of them look like little sperms. They're kind of weird and interesting. So what I've kind of been doing is I took some clean water from an aquarium in this container and I already started to catch some and I've been catching them using a brine shrimp net as well as a uh, turkey baster that I only use for my aquariums and as you can see I do have some Daphnia in here so if you look closely see those little fat little buggers all little fat guys that are trying to go towards the light those are all Daphnia and I want them to uh, do a little better and breed some more for me so I want to restart this container with some clean aquarium water put some spirulana in here and some yeast and just really start it all over again but in a better way of course I'm gonna keep some of these little guys the these little other organisms because a they're really small which would be probably good to feed fry I assume and B well, it'll be kind of hard not to get all these guys. I don't even know where they came from. See the little spermy guy right there? That's the little spermy guys. That's a Daphne right here. There's these double tail guys. I really wish I had a microscope. I need to see if I can ask some friends around. See if someone must have a microscope. I would love to see these guys up close. I also in here have... Um, Malaysian trumpet snails. Those are the snails that have the really long shells, as well as normal pond pest snails, which are actually kind of fun. I've never had these guys before. They're very quick. They move around quite fast. There's a, there's a baby right there that's moving. So as you can see, they're quite fast, and they've been breeding fast as well, which is pretty interesting. The Malaysian trumpet snails are nocturnal, so they only come out at night. While these guys, they're eating all day, so they're kind of fun. If I end up getting a good colony of these guys, I might be considering getting a tank with dwarf puffers, because um, dwarf pea puffers, because then I'd have a good supply to feed them. But we'll see in the future how that goes. I know I have to sell my other two pea puffers, and Daniel, my boyfriend, was really sad about that because he actually really liked the puffers. That this sort of one of the fish species that he finds really really interesting so I'm gonna restart this I just wanted to show you guys because to be honest I don't really know what I'm doing to it very well when it comes to growing Daphne I'm learning I'm watching a lot of YouTube videos getting advice here and there and sort of doing this by trial and error of course from what I found out the bigger container you have the better this is about 2.5 gallons of water I wish I couldn't have a bigger one but at the moment I don't have any containers to spare so that is the biggest I can get. I did try to experiment and I did try to see if I can grow them out in smaller containers and the Daphne just did not do well at all. At least in here, they've been breeding. They just haven't been breeding as well and all the little tiny ones have not been growing up as well as I would like them to. So I'm hoping that when I restart this uh, and this time know a little better what I'm doing, know how much to feed them a bit better... Uh, that they will do they will thrive hopefully so the plan is to catch as many Daphnia in there there's still a couple in there as I can then with the rest of the little critters I think I'll feed them to my fry because they'll enjoy some live food and then I'll take out all the water the rest of the water and clean this out and replace it with some new tank water now the water that I'm getting will be from this tub that is my fry grow out tub which is about 10 gallons of water and as you can see I actually have some baby bettas in here these are the biggest babies that I had 
I separated them. I have the smallest ones are still in here so they can grow out. And then the largest ones, about 17 of them were moved into this bigger tub. So I was going to have to do a water change for this container anyways. So I figured I might as well use this water for the Daphnia. I will be giving you guys an update on the baby bettas on Fishy Fan Friday. So stay tuned for that. And I'll show you, I do have a clip on how I moved the baby bettas from one container to another. So look forward to that in the future. And the babies are still changing colors, so that's pretty exciting. So I'm going to continue catching these guys. If someone can identify some of these little organisms for me, I would very much appreciate it. Because uh, I'm really trying to figure out what is all this that's growing here. It's very interesting. It's a very it's a new uh, and learning experience for me. And then another update is I'm going to be selling these guys. My uh, three yellow labs. There's one two, three. They're from my very old African cichlid tank. I no longer have the tanks. So they've been kind of here as a temporary um, solution, but this is not a good home for them. This is not big enough. It's temporary, it's okay, but long term, it's not. So, I'm going to be going to the Greater Chicago Cichlid Association meeting next weekend and bring them in and probably auction these off to the club because there's a lot of cichlid owners that will um, take really good care of them and then once that happens I will either I have two options I can take I'm gonna take this apart maybe and then I can move this tub sideways so that maybe you might be able to see the babies better because you can't really see them too well but if you can look through here there's certain areas where you can't see them it just when Right here it curves, you can't really see them well. So I'm hoping that maybe from the side we'll be able to see the babies a lot better because I would like to continue to monitor their growth. But my other concern is as these little ones up here grow out, will I have enough room in this tub to keep all of them in this 10 gallon or will I have to split them and have some in here, some in here so that way they all have adequate space and good water quality um, for the amount of fish so I don't know it's something I'm figuring out also my aquarium light broke so that's another problem so this video is a little different in a sense where it's not really a tutorial per se it's me troubleshooting and updating and stuff because with fish keeping a lot of it is trial and error you got to try stuff out you got to experiment so I'm kind of showing you what I'm doing here and I'm kind of as I'm figuring things out so maybe you guys can get inspired to try out some stuff and if any of you guys have raised Daphnia before. If you have any advice, that'd be awesome. Also, look how these Daphnia, I don't know if I can show them if it'll focus, but they're all kind of gathering on by the light, which is why I'm using um, the light to kind of coax them in one spot so I can see them a bit better and see how many I have. I'm also using black paper underneath so you can see them a little better. I am going to put a black piece of paper under here so that way in the future when we look in here we might be able to see the little organisms a little better. So it's cool stuff I'm figuring out. So I'll be right back. I'm going to keep catching these guys and releasing them in here. And then when I'm done, uh, I'll drain this and show you another update. So, so here's the container that I set up. I cleaned it. I put a dark bottom piece of paper at the bottom so that way... Um, I'll be able to see the critters better. I put in some fake plants in here just because some driftwood in the back for bacteria to have extra spots to colonize on. And I put in an airline and a small sponge filter. I don't know if this sponge filter will cycle properly. I don't really have the tube that's supposed to be connected to it. But I figured, you know, might as well try it out and see it'll help. If it does, it'll help keep the water quality a little better for all these critters. So now I'm going to siphon the water into the bucket and then I'll move some extra water. So what I did is I took off 50% of the water, put it right here, pre-mixed some new water with a little aquarium salt and primed to dechlorinate it and take out all the harmful metals out of the water. And I also made sure there was the right temperature to match. So this is um, 82 degrees and that tank is at 81. So it's, it's off by one degree but it's close enough now I'm going to put the water back in here and then when I'm done I'll move the water back into this container so here are all the critters waiting for their new home 
And here I filled up the tub. I didn't fill it all the way. I'll probably add a little more as I'm probably going to do another cha water change on the other fry tank. But I think this is a good amount. I have the bubbling, not too crazy, but so it still kind of moves the water around so that particles will um, be able to stay suspended. I've got some yeast in here that I already put in here to activate it and I'll mix in some spirulina to feed them. But before I do that, I am going to pretty much dump this container in here. So I'm gonna grab this, try to do this one-handedly. Try not to spill Daphnia all over my floor. Oh goodness gracious. And there we're going on a roller coaster of their lives. Hey snails, snails, you're coming too. Let me try to get the rest of the snails out and the rest of the critters out by hand. So everybody is in their little container. There's some debris that came in from the tank that's in here too, but that's okay. It's a small amount of debris. So I think they will do well in here. Now the last thing I need to do is to just feed them. So I've got my yeast in here. Just gotta mix it for a little bit. I'm gonna add some spirulina to this. Mix it all together and then... Okay, so I put some spirulina in here. By the way, spirulina is a single-celled organism, also known as blue-green algae. And oftentimes you'll see it growing in tanks. You can actually culture it and have it grow in either aquariums or containers. And there's video tutorials on that in YouTube. I've never tried it, but maybe in the future I will like to try it. It'll definitely be cheaper than buying the powder stuff, but for now, that's what I got. I'm just mixing it so it all mixes thoroughly. This is more spirulina than yeast at the moment because they seem to like that stuff the most. And I'm gonna add that. And shake it up, get all the rest. And there we go. It will kind of distribute throughout the tank, and they're gonna feed on this for the next two days until I have to feed them again. They'll be really happy. The bubbles will help kind of mix everything up and help keep it suspended and that is pretty much my Daphnia adventure right here. I hope that you enjoyed this interesting video behind the scenes into the look of me doing some maintenance and trying some stuff out to see how it will work out. If you did be sure to subscribe and click that little bell notification so you get notified and check out all my other awesome fishy and cat and dog videos. Check out the Banana Show episode that I posted on Monday if you already haven't. I put a lot of work into that episode. <laughs> Eight hours of editing went into that. So I'm going to go and upload this right now. Hope that you enjoyed this. And I will keep you guys updated. And I'll let you know how my Daphnia will grow. Hopefully they will reproduce a bit better in um, this a little better and cleaner environment.